Hey guys, welcome to Rationality, Reason, and Reality. As always, I am Supernova. I'm discussing logic today, as I have many times before, specifically logical fallacies as mistakes in logical reasoning. And you may be kind of surprised by these ones. I picked out ad feminam, which is to the person, where you dismiss an argument because its source is a woman. And ad infons, which I... I made up. I have never seen that phrase anywhere before. I had to look up on Google what the Latin is for child, and that's my attempt at the Latin for to the child, which is a dismissal of an argument because the source of the argument is a child. And I'm not going to discuss in this video why they are logically fallacious. They are simply subtypes of ad hominem, which means to the man, or we often translate as to the person in which you, you dismiss an argument because of its source. It doesn't matter what that source is, whether it's uh, a child or a woman or a man or anything. Uh, an argument is never wrong because it comes from a wrong source. So I've already discussed that. Get past it. These are logical fallacies. If you don't already know about ad hominem, I did make a video about that way back in uh, number three. Rationality, Reason, Reality, number three. Maybe I'll uh, include a link below. That one also includes the argument from authority, which <clears throat> a lot of you could use a refresher on. Now, uh, instead, I'm going to talk about uh, feminism itself and why it's so weird that anybody would even have to defend ad feminam as a logical fallacy, because I have in the past. There's another channel that used to go by the uh, name Wi-Fi, and they spelled Phi, P-H-I, because it was short for wireless philosophy. Now I believe they go just by the name of wireless philosophy. It's it's a great channel, and I would definitely recommend their videos. They speak about logic and uh, other types of philosophy, and they're very deep, and they're well animated, unlike my videos, and they uh, have experts, educators, and, and such discussing all these topics, so they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, but the, the one in particular that I'm thinking of is about ad hominem, and it, it discussed uh, many different types of, of ad hominem. And the speaker, the educator in that one, was a woman. And at the very end, she proposes ad feminam because it's not in, in Wikipedia, it's not in everyday parlance, but perhaps it should be because it is common enough for women to have their argument dismissed just because they're women. And I know because I actually had that happen to me. No, of course I'm not a woman, but uh, somebody dismissed my arguments because I'm a feminist, which is is just so odd. But it was in the comments of that video. Uh, that person that I got into an argument with uh, in two or more posts actually made ad hominem attacks against me because he thought I was biased in favor of feminism. Now let's get this clear. I am a feminist. I never thought of myself that way, but I looked it up and it's just an advocate for uh, equal rights to women. And of course I'm that. I am a humanist, as many atheists are or at least proclaim to be. And a humanist is somebody who believes in the system of ethics. Uh, somebody who stands up for people as equals in general. So most of us atheists are for the LGBT community and we defend uh, gays and gay rights and most of us are uh, not racist and we support equal rights for every race and we should because it is logically consistent with humanism and these other defenses we ought to be defending women's rights but most of the time we don't i i never actually knew that until in recent years uh the first hint was when uh this woman named skeptic who goes by the name skeptic in her vlogs was discussing that uh she was in an elevator when a guy hit on her and she felt very uncomfortable and i thought yeah whatever i I don't care. I'm not a woman, so it, it just it doesn't really matter to me. It's not relevant. But uh, Richard Dawkins, a very prominent atheist, made an argument against that on his site and his forums, and it seemed like such a weird, out of place thing to attack. And that's what he did. He attacked it. He was arguing against 
uh, her discomfort saying that she ought not to have been worried about being in a confined space with a guy who was hitting on her. And from there, it's become more and more prominent. Uh, women came out with this thing called Atheism Plus, which is Atheism Plus Feminism. And when I first heard this, I thought, why? Why feminism? Why not plus humanism? Just represent all the groups. Well, because feminism is that part of humanism that atheists, for some reason, and I really don't understand why, have not defended and have gone out of their way to attack. Now, I don't ever watch channels like The Amazing Atheist because I have tried and he's he's just uh, a uh, pundit. He, he's totally irrational and very biased and there's there's nothing of value for me to get from this channel. But he has many times attacked a, uh, feminists. Uh, there's a guy named Noel Plum 88 I think whose channels I used to whose channel I used to frequent until he started piling on videos uh, against feminists. And there are a lot of these. I, I keep seeing them in my YouTube queues. And I I don't understand why anybody could be against women's rights. Now, of course, these people would not claim to be against women's rights because that would make them horrible monsters. And they, they instead tend to attack a definition of feminism that they've made up. It's very similar to... Uh, what Rush Limbaugh calls feminazis, but guys, you're you're in the wrong here. You can have rational arguments with with feminists. I mean, even if their conclusions are right, their arguments are are not always. I've come across that many times. I mean, I'd be a total hypocrite to say you can't argue against feminists, but it, if you're arguing against the position of feminism, you're just wrong. You're logically inconsistent. And the same thing with, with children. I'm not going to get into that into this video because it, it would take a long time and it's a lot more nuanced. And you could actually have a, a very rational disagreement with me. So I'd, I'd be interested in that video. And maybe I'll come out with it later this week. But seriously, uh, women have had it bad. I don't know if you've ever watched the show last week week tonight with John Oliver. It's on HBO every Sunday. And the most important part of the show, the part that, that boils the blood of uh, anybody who who is rational, uh, they, that part is posted online. So you can catch that every week, even if you don't catch the rest of the show. And this week was about internet harassment, more specifically internet harassment towards women because guys don't experience it. I mean, yeah, we, we get people in the comments who argue against us and name call and harass us in that manner, but that's, that's nothing compared to the, the death threats that women receive or the revenge porn things talked about in that clip, and I would encourage you to watch that. Women, women really do have it bad. I mean, I, I don't really know from personal experience because I'm not a woman. I'm not a minority. I'm not gay. I, I don't ever experience any of these forms of discrimination, but I still, I still see them. I, I know they happen. And guys, we really ought to be above that. I mean, leave that to the theists. The, the fundies, I understand when they attack gays and, and people of other races and such. I I get that, but why would humanists be against women's rights? Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment below if you're just going to go on some angry rant about why ad feminum or ad infants should not be fallacies. Uh, you don't have to use them. You don't ever have to use them. They're, they fall under the, the rubric of ad hominem. You can still accuse somebody who's uh, discounting your argument because you're a woman of ad hominem because it is. These are just uh, helpful. They're, they're just easier reference to, to bring up people's awareness of uh, you know the types of discrimination that are out there. And I, I hope you do comment and uh, I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace out.